Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is just after 8 o'clock in the morning. I am headed up to Muskoka, where Carl lives, and uh, I'm going to be teaching his brother-in-law, Kent, how to shoot the way we need him to shoot for the fishing show and uh, it's going to benefit Carl because um, he lives very close to Carl it's really foggy and I couldn't see the traffic lights up ahead scary anyway uh, yeah we're headed up there first we're going to grab some food at, at Tim Hortons and a coffee and uh, it's about an hour and 49 minute drive so let's get trucking. Hi, I like to try the uh, classic bagel BLT with a large double double and hash browns, please. It's called the Classic Bagel BLT. And what kind of bagel? Uh, this is your sesame seed, please. Yeah. Anything else? That's it, thank you. Thank you. Possibly a new person working there because she didn't know that existed. <laughs> it didn't sound like it. it. Didn't sound like it anyway. So yesterday when I got my Tim Hortons I'm not sure if I told you guys this, but a while ago, even a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago, somebody sent me, uh, I think it was Chris, Chris Harold, uh, sent me a Tim Hortons card, but it had my uh, logo on it from KBD Productions TV. And so I lost it in Japan, if you guys remember, because I put it in the slot to keep the, the power on in the bedroom, so, or in the uh, uh, the room, so I can keep my batteries charging. So, I ordered another one last year, and I never got it, and it turns out it was like a, an electronic one. So I had to get like a normal card, and then I have to phone Tim Hortons so that they can move the $25 from that card to this card. Plus they now have rewards. So every seven coffees, you get a free coffee. Hello. How many points does that give you? Uh, just oh, just one point per order, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh, thank you. And my coffee and because I said okay, because I said I wanted the the classic BLT with a coffee and 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 uh, hash browns, yeah. The large double double and a hash brown. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, guys. Did you guys hear me ask for. A... Like, I think when I said I wanted the classic BLT and then started to say with a double double and a hash brown, they were looking for the BLT and not listening to. Always, I guess I should always make them read it back to me is what I, I gather. Anyway, so I thought I'd try something I haven't eaten in a long time, which is that BLT, that's what Ben always gets, so. All right, let's get going. Just about at Carl's place, and I am just far enough north. Whoa, this is the worst road ever. Uh, that there is still snow in the ditches down there, if you can see over there, and then up ahead. Uh, it looks like they had some flooding here. Again, uh, some of the places up here north 
got bad flooding, but uh, there is snow. It is May 5th, and uh, yeah, this far north. Still in New uh, Muskoka, and uh, there is still snow. There is still ice on the lake here. <laughs> so I'm hoping that we're not, we're not going out on the boat. That's all I can say. Ooh, that would suck. That would suck. Danger water. All right, guys. Made it to Carl's, of course, as you know. And Carl's cooking up some food. Uh, this is Kent. Hey, Kent. Hey. As you know, that's Carl. Carl has the uh, extreme... It, 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 the, the actual extreme channel is still... It's, it's the Extreme Angler TV channel, although the actual name of the show has been changed. Yes. Yes. Don't catch fish, it's Extreme Anger. <laughs> Anger TV. I love it. I, I just got a huge splinter. Check this out. Look what, you, look what your building just did to me. Look at that. You gotta pull it out with one I hand. I forgot you signed that thing when you came in the driveway. It was a release for any kind of damages. Carl is like an expert at cooking barbecue. Look at this. Beauties. So, these Montreal obviously, chicken. Montreal chicken. Explain. It's, you know, you heard Montreal steak sauce? Yeah. Like all the rub and everything else like that. Well, this is my version of Montreal chicken. So you rub the Montreal steak, steak spices and sauce? Yeah, I didn't make it. I bought it at the store. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't take credit for it. You'll probably see the thing in the garbage thinking, he said he made that? No. Nice. But it works. It saves a lot of time. For sure. It Mary smells amazing. It. Yep. And this is Kona. You guys like to see Kona come say hi. Say hi to the vloggers. Say hi, vloggers. Say hi. Say hello. You say hello? Everyone say knows dogs. <laughs> yes, you are bouncy. You are bouncy. So what did you like learning today? I like learning everything today. That's a good day. I think I think the 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 most attention you had today was when we launched the drone. Oh yeah. And then I was showing him that even though like I'm very obviously comfortable flying drones, I've been doing it for three years. I flew it around the lake and then I said, you know, if you get panicky, you can hit this little button called home. And even Carl, even though Carl knows about the drone, he was still impressed. The fact that it flew back to this area through all the trees and then landed right back where we launched the drone from. You thought that was pretty impressive. Oh yeah, within it, eight inches of where it took off. Yeah, that was, that was. Yeah. And because it was Carl's drone, I didn't mind if it crashed. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> you tried it for the first time, that's when I went in the house with the dog. <laughs> he gets really nervous. He goes, is it over the lake? And I'm like, yeah, it's fine, Carl. It's this. And he's, if you got the Mavic Pro, and so that was the first time me flying a Mavic Pro, but I've got the, the Mavic Air, and it's very similar. I use my phone, so I was pretty comfortable and with what's it. What's the one we're going to get? Uh, Mavic what? Zoom. Just because it has so many more safety features on it. So you can run through the woods. And it, and and it will keep up to you. It, it, it might lose you if you ran through the woods. But if you were walking, it would deke out the trees. Wow. It, uh, it's, uh, again, one of my favorite um, YouTubers who uh, basically does reviews of stuff and tests. Uh, his name is, I'm not sure what his name is, but his channel name is iPhone Do. And check out the Mavic zoom test that he did where he's in an open space it launches and he does the active track and so he's not touching the controller anymore but it's just following him and he starts to go through trees and the drone is like going down and around the branches and missing everything and he he even you could see it in his face he was so excited oh, yeah. that it was Impressive. that it was not hitting anything it. yeah it. it's a good drone and so yours is just a, a little bit older and it doesn't have the same technology it's a great drone I, as you can see it flew great today and and yeah. The quality of the footage is amazing, so. Mm. All right, we're gonna eat soon. Stuff, right? Oh, taking yeah, them off it? the grill. Taking them off the grill. It's food time. That's our version of bucket of chicken. Bucket of chicken. <laughs> Just finished eating all that chicken. <laughs> it was fantastic. I'm not sure if Carl, uh, there's no t uh, basic recipe. <laughs> he just went inside. <clears throat> so I'm stuck here with Kona, right? <clears throat> Oh yeah, you want to lick my face because it tastes good. Yes, you do. Pull. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't like when I do that. <laughs> so again, it's this. Uh, I guess Montreal spices on chicken. But a steak. What does he call it? Steak. Montreal steak, Montreal steak spices. On chicken, and it was great. We are all done at Carl's. 
headed home, the car, the heat in the car is probably about 90 degrees. My uh, cell phone holder actually fell off the windshield. It is so hot in here. My car hasn't been this hot in so long. Anyway, Carl showed me a, a faster way to get out of here and a less bumpy way to get out of here. He's like, you gotta get to a certain road. And uh, I came in from a different direction. Whoa, I gotta get into first gear. All right, so we had a good time. Taught Kent a lot. He said very comfortable now with the camera and uh, with the drone, especially he's never drawn, fl flown the drone. And uh, one of the coolest things about it was, you know, I took off from the driveway on a pad uh, or on a lid of a, um, a plastic container just so that you wouldn't kick up the dust into it and the fact that it came right back to there when we hit the special panic home button and he was so impressed uh, so was I because <laughs> I, I, I just I'm just so confident I always just fly it back it's faster anyway so we got a one an, uh, an hour and 50 minute drive home and uh, yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen when we get home. Let's go. Made it back home, as you can see. What are you making, Carol? Tortilla soup, <gasps> is it Cinco de Mayo. Is it Cinco de Mayo? Yeah. Or de Mayo, because it's in May? Because it's the 5th of May. This is the 5th of May. So we've got some garlic, ground beef, onions, a stewing. We've got some tomatoes de gallo. <laughs> and we got some uh, beans. I don't really have to read it. And black beans. Black beans. That is awesome. I've got some oil. That's what you just put in there right now, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have touched that. Jeez. Anyway, it's good to be home. Yeah. Don't show me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, that's why I was showing all the food first because I didn't think Carol was in the mood to be on camera. Anyway, so I'm going to uh, upload all this footage and get it out to you guys. Hope you enjoyed today. Uh, very completely different than normal vlogs. So again, I, I love I love doing as many different things as I can just for you guys so you get a variety of my life. Brought to you by the good people at YouTube.